Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a great time here, finally, in, uh, in person. I've been attending HiveFest in VR, and yeah, I would say that this is cooler. They're both cool, but yeah, this is cool, too. And uh, yeah, I'm here today to talk about crypto shots. Um, so let's first, first, let's uh, allow me to have a quick introduction by, about myself. It's not working. OK, so who am I? I'm a software engineer. Um, I'm, I'm the founder of CryptoShots. Uh, I work for uh, televisions, for banks, for gaming corporations. And uh, the other two, passionate about security. Uh, I, did, I, did, I do a bit on high blockchain in, in the terms. And uh, I was lucky enough to start early on, uh, on uh, blockchain, and uh, especially on Hive. I approached Hive back in 2018, and since uh, uh, Blogging was already my thing. I started working on some minor projects and eventually started working on a Kiss Defender uh, that is uh, focused on security on, on the Hive blockchain. So one, some quick words about, about, key, about Kiss Defender. Uh, it can uh, detect keys, uh, uh, private keys leak on the Hive blockchain. It's controlled by the community and uh, it's able to put your funds in savings when, when you leak uh, a private key on the chain. Uh, if a bunch of, uh, of uh, smaller users, of high reputation users, or a witness uh, report a link as, uh, as suspect, uh, they, can, they can report it on chain, and the bot automatically uh, scan the blockchain to warn users against, uh, against this threat. Um, it can also st start a backward scan of the Hive blockchain in order to, war to warn users that were affected before the report. Uh, does it really happen? Uh, yes, it happened hundreds of times in these uh, 2.5 years that it has been active uh, uh, with its free service, and uh, it protected accounts for a total worth of around $50,000. Um, it can also detect when users try to uh, inject malicious code into the apps on the, on the Hive ecosystem. Uh, it's automatically uh, trigger an alarm so to tell the users, hey, what are you doing? And it also put uh, an alert in one of our Discord channels that some uh, volunteers monitor. OK, um, crypto shots. Um, let me start with a couple of questions. How many of you have ever played a first-person shooter before? OK, quite a bit. How many of you have played a play-to-earn for first-person shooter? OK. The, the, uh, Quite, that's a little. <laughs> Let's try to fix that. So we've been uh, on uh, on Wax for uh, uh, almost a year now. Uh, we are browser-based. Uh, uh, we started in October. We are in beta phase at the moment. Uh, we have been live since uh, February, and uh, we there's a, a volume of around twenty uh, two hundred forty thousand dollars NFT trading uh, on the WAX side, because we are live both on WAX and, and on Hive. And we, are, we have issued uh, over $1,000 as gaming rewards to our players. Uh, it has been from scratch, and we integrated over 50 NFTs on, uh, on WAX, and now more than, more than 10 on Hive. And we are, we are integrating more. OK, quick, uh, quick word on, uh, on the tech overview. Uh, how many devs are in the audience? OK, not that many, so I'm going to just give a, a, a high-level high one. Um, we, are, we are using uh, Unity and WebGL, uh, so we are, we are able to run in any browser using a Canvas. It's supported by all major browsers, uh, especially in Firefox. It works, works better for 3D games, so we recommend that. Uh, we are cross-platform, so we are able to run uh, uh, easily. Uh, we, we are, uh, it's relatively easy to also run on other devices like uh, mobile devices and also uh, VR browsers, and we're already working in that direction. Uh, we support the controllers already and also inverted mouse for uh, FPS uh, professional players. Uh, one, another advantage, advantage of being a browser-based is that you don't have to download a, a multi-gigabyte uh, executable on your machine. So that's important also for a security side. For example, some uh, popular YouTubers have recently been hacked at downloading a game, and yeah, that's something that is not going to happen with the browser game. This is how the game looks like. These are actual screenshots from, from the game. and. Uh, Level zero has been released in uh, in May. Uh, the warehouse, sorry, in February, at the end of May, released the cargo ship level one, and we are currently working on level two uh, that takes place on Mars. 
This is the game in action, so you can see the gameplay. And uh, the goal of the game is to um, take down all the enemies uh, and, uh, on the map. And if it, every time you do so, uh, you, um, you earn a small uh, amount of our token. And how much you earn depends on your inventory. So uh, all the NFTs in your inventory, all the game assets in, in the game are, are NFTs. They can be used. You own them, so they, are, they have a real value. And, uh, if you lose, you only earn one tenth of the rewards for that match. If you win, uh, you, you win the whole pot, uh, uh, including some extra boosters that depend on your inventory. This is the second level instead. You can see that there's a, uh, there's a final boss, the one at top left and bottom right corner. And so every level after level zero has a final boss and uh, that you need to defeat in order to complete the level. Uh, for the total level, uh, we are going to release it at the end of, of this month, at least on testnet. And uh, there are already some sneak peeks on our socials. We postponed it. We were supposed to launch it earlier. We uh, postponed in order to, uh, uh, to launch our game on Hive. Uh, we launched on uh, at the, uh, August 21st. So how does it work to, um, when you want to start playing? Uh, the first level, you don't need to, you don't need to pay for uh, food and gas on, on WAX, and we're going to implement some similar tokens for, with a new token, tokenomic also on Hive. And uh, you have to choose a, a spaceship. Uh, they have different uh, duration and different cost. Uh, and these, these uh, spaceships are NFTs. They're owned by the players, and players get uh, a cut of the, player, uh, of the, of the travel cost from, from the players. You also need, to, in order to proceed to the, to the following level, you need to complete in the same gaming session um, a match in a medium difficulty. And uh, uh, you also need an end of level NFT in your wallet uh, to proceed to the next level. And that's, uh, uh, that's chill when you, when you beat a level in hard mode. And uh, depending on how you perform in the game, when you perform better than usual, you may win it again so that you can, uh, in theory, sell it to other players that weren't able to. OK, why are we on Hive? And how have we been on Hive for the past year? We are on Hive because, well, we, are, we, have, been, um, we have been around for quite a bit. So we are we're passionate about, about the community. And we like that uh, its speed, its uh, robustness, its ability to scale. Uh, it, never, it never froze like other blockchains. And there's no fees. So uh, that's, it's also important that it has a low ecological impact. So in November last year, we, we started using Hive to store the data of our Discord, Discord uh, bot. We, had a, we have a mini game there where a user can, can pre-mine tokens of, uh, the, of the level of the game. This is not out yet, because every couple of levels, we issue a new token. What, what, what's cool about it that is that Hive uh, allow us to, um, to, have, uh, to allow uh, transparency. So users can execute a, a command on, uh, on Discord, and they can see all the history of uh, how their, their balance change over time. We also been issuing, we also be, been issuing uh, free Hive accounts uh, in our Discord every week since, since we launched it. Uh, a couple of months ago, we implemented a, a Hive NFT marketplace where you can trade uh, our NFTs. And uh, shortly after that, we launched our first Hive NFT, the Hive Shield. It, that was integrating the game uh, uh, early June. At the end of August, on 21st, we integrated uh, um, more uh, Hive NFTs, uh, so they are sold in packs that, that you can open, and we started issuing Doom as a gaming reward, our Hive token. Uh, we also, a couple of weeks ago, we released uh, a bridge that allows you to swap uh, our token from Wax and Hive, and the other way around as well. We are working on this pool, uh, this pool to uh, that allow you to stake uh, uh, your token and earn uh, rewards with our token, also some partner tokens, some partner projects. And uh, HiveOut services, Archange, uh, we already integrated it in a, in a POC, in a proof of concept, a prototype, and we just need to finalize integration into our front end. Um, as, as I mentioned, we also going to uh, launch new tokens in order to improve our tokenomics uh, to allow players to pay for spaceships and also for storage. OK, so how hard it is it to integrate uh, uh, the Hive blockchain in uh, traditional Web2 games? 
Web2 game. Um, it's easier compared to other blockchains, in my opinion. Uh, we put together a repository with some examples. Uh, it's within Node.js, and there's some examples how you can easily airdrop uh, uh, Hive tokens, Hive NFTs. And there's also an example how you can fetch the NFTs that a player, ha the player has in, the, in their wallet. And also an example how you can splat scan blocks of a high blockchain in order to detect, for example, custom JSON operations uh, broadcasted by, by a game. We're going to post an article about it with, uh, with more details. So once you integrate the Hive blockchain into, into your game, you are then able to integrate the NFTs. And this is what uh, we offer at the moment. We have a, to start playing, you need, uh, you need to have a, a, a pack you can unbox. And you, you get uh, a bunch of NFTs, for example, weapons that uh, uh, allow you to, if you don't have them, you can pick them up in the game. And also, uh, the more you have, the more uh, rewards you have up to the maximum. Um, the players give you play time in the game, and the ammo are a scarce resource that, um, that allow you to use the weapons. We also have, uh, we have an inventory section in our web UI, then we have a token session where you can uh, stake and swap tokens. We have a leaderboard, and we are also going to launch uh, very soon uh, um, weekly and uh, monthly uh, competitions. And uh, we have a, the play section where you can lo launch the 3D, 3D game. We also, as I mentioned, we also developed our own marketplace, and uh, we have great plans for it. Uh, we may put out a proposal in order to expand it, since uh, uh, we, have, we, have, we have to integrate more features into uh, our into this marketplace in order to, to launch an Hive compared to Wax. Uh, we could therefore offer these uh, these new features also to the public. For example, we have uh, an admin UI where you, where we can mint NFTs. And since it wasn't possible to do so on Tribal Dex, uh, it is possible instead to do it in a, in our UI. So uh, that's something we could uh, open to the public so they they can mint their own collections. Plus, uh, um, we realized that we had to uh, issue our, the packs under a different symbol, so that uh, forced us to integrate multiple uh, NFT symbols into our uh, into a UI, meaning that it's also relatively easy now, easy now to add uh, new collections um, and list them in the, in, in our uh, UI. And uh, yeah, last but not least, we had to integrate our own uh, unpacking system for. For, for, the, for the packs, NFT packs. And uh, unlike other games on Hive, we offer a sequential um, um, mint numbers that, that are more, more meaningful, so they're not all mixed together when you open the packs. That's something you could offer as well to the public. Uh, that may depend on a, on a proposal. So this project, the evolution will be called Hive Tonic. And uh, yeah, uh, until we re receive some extra funding, we keep working on our sales, and we have some, some sales uh, up now. Our Hive token, uh, Doom uh, dot, uh, dot Omega symbol, uh, ticker Doom, uh, is sold out on Hive Engine. Uh, but we still have some NFT sale up, uh, up for grabs. Uh, then our next events are uh, the launch of the level uh, at the end of the month. Uh, it's going to be on testnet, and the sale is going to be on October 11th, same day as, as the uh, hard fork on Hive, the tentative date for the hard fork. Uh, in November, we're also going to uh, start selling some lands on, on Hive, like we did on Wax. So you, we're going to put up uh, as an auction uh, the spaceships that players can use in order to receive a, um, a portion of the fees that players pay in order to uh, advance levels in the game, and also map parts that give you a passive income based on how players perform in the map that you, that you picked. What if you don't want to invest in current marketing NFTs, or what if you don't have, don't have time to play? We also offer scholarships, both on Wax, Wax and Hive. Uh, that means you can borrow and lend NFTs to other players, and the rewards are automatically split uh, since uh, the, the parties of the agreement are, are uh, um, broadcasted to the chain. Uh, what can you do with, the, with our token once you earn it? Gaming, uh, we have a, a bunch of uh, use cases, and we keep adding, adding more. For example, you can use it to buy our NFTs. Uh, if you don't claim it, 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 uh, it receives uh, uh, an interest. 
a monthly, you also forced to leave some of it staked in order to be able to earn new uh, rewards. There's a stake to claim role. Clearly, you can trade it in an engine, and soon we also have the diesel pool. Uh, you, you will be able to use it to travel to uh, other levels, and also when you run out of ammo time, you will be able to extend your session uh, using the Doom token. At the moment, uh, scholarships can be paid only in Hive by the teacher. It's free for, it's free for, for, um, for scholars that don't want to start play, play for free, and we're going to uh, offer payments in Doom as well, plus some merchandise on our website. And uh, you, you can also take advantage of the swap uh, into our uh, token and other chains to, to, use the, uh, to take advantage of the use cases that we have there. We are in the process of publishing a new version of our white paper. You can check out on, on our website. What's coming next? Um, we, we, um, in Q4, we're going to resume working on, uh, on mobile. We already started, and we're going to continue. It was deprioritized. And we're also going to resume working on PVP. We already did some experiments that were working well. Uh, we plan also on adding survival modes to our game, so the session is going to be longer, it's going to be a bit harder, and uh, what's cool about it is that the earnings are going to be randomized, but it's not going to be gambling, so we have a cool uh, idea in place. We're going to use more uh, Ive custom JSON, they're going to be, they're going to be broadcasted to the chain, so we, we try and become more, uh, more to lean towards becoming adapted, because at the moment we rely, we rely more on uh, or too much, in our opinion, on cloud services. Uh, that means we are not as decentralized as, as we would like to be. So with the help of the community, we can hopefully um, lean towards being more decentralized faster. Uh, we have a, uh, that's our plan, then priorities may shift. Uh, uh, we try to keep track uh, of, uh, of Project, um, manage the project as best as we can, and I think we can, we can achieve so, and uh, thanks to our maturity in, in the DevOps space, um, we are trying to be agile and, and adapt to change uh, that help, helps us to achieve that. Uh, you, can keep, uh, you can keep track of our, of our um, releases on, on our roadmap, on our website, and uh, also keep an eye on our announcements. The best way to do so is in, in our community, uh, our main channels are Discord, uh, uh, Twitter, and, uh, and uh, our Hive blog. On Twitter, we have a, we recently reached uh, 10,000 followers, and on Discord, we have about 6,000. It's an active community. We, we have a live stream three times a week. Uh, we have a monthly tournament with uh, NFT prizes where you can, you can join for free. And uh, uh, people that engage in our Discord are automatically um, rewarded with some NFTs that have value in the game. If you want to get more involved, you, can, you could even part, become of, a, of our uh, team. If you're interested as a side gig, we are looking for some, for some help. Right. I would like to, thank, to say thank you to blockchaingaming.com that is uh, backing us uh, uh, since the beginning, uh, TH Gaming and Hive Pizza that are our partners. This is a, a free NFT. If you want to take a picture, you'll be able to claim that. <laughs> 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 Any questions? Yes, let me get you the mic <laughs> for the live stream. Um, so, check one, two. Yeah. Um, so, my question is the, the spaceships is basically a sort of more passive way to, to play crypto shots. Is Correct. that right? Correct. Uh, they are they are split into parts. So if you own uh, spaceship parts, uh, every uh, every month you receive a, a split of the sh of the uh, payments that users make to, to use the spaceship. They can choose the different ones. They have different duration and different costs based on which part you have. You may earn based on these factors. Fantastic. Thank you. And what do you think is going to be the price in um, let's take HBD because that is stable? Um, for a land on the auction and for the spaceships in the auctions, wh where do you think it goes? Uh, we haven't decided the price yet. On Wax, uh, the highest price was uh, there was an auction and they paid a thousand dollars for one of the spaceship, but it was a full spaceship. The other parts are, were sold for less. But yeah, we, we don't have a price yet. Okay, we, we, we've been asked. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
All right. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you very much.